Finally, one more thought. Longing for the good old days. Change is hard. Just when we think we have things figured out, the world goes and changes on us. Take inflation. After Chairman Volcker administered his harsh medicine of rate hikes, a much tougher approach to inflation, which uh, led to a nearly 20% official interest rate. Um, hard to believe now, hard to remember, um, at a time when inflation was also in the high double digits. We thought we'd left that problem behind us. We even fought to get some inflation back into the system. It was a big thing to start this um, rate increases. I think the fact that they have them to four and three quarter to five percent now, they'll be a little bit higher probably before they go on pause. And I think if inflation is around three percent plus or minus, uh, they'll be pretty pleased. But that all changed last year when that stimulus finally kicked in and reminded us of the bad old days. We are seeing inflation coming down. It's come down by about 45 percent since the peak, but we still have more work to do. But it's not just inflation that has shifted on us. What about all those banks that thought there was nothing safer than long-term treasuries as investments? The basic issue that, you know, they took all of these big deposits and invested them in long-term treasuries and had a gigantic mismatch where, again, it should never have occurred. Now it turns out that what was a safe haven has turned into a lot of unrealized losses on balance sheets. You have this bank that uh, has deposits from very concentrated, highly volatile depositors, and you have a balance sheet where, they, where they've invested long in treasuries, and when interest rates spike, um, they're underwater. This week, we were reminded that it's not just economics and banking where we have our expectations shaken to their core. Now we hear that Tupperware, that iconic plastic system for keeping food fresh, plan to have or attend the Tupperware party soon, may be going out of business. Shares of Tupperware falling 50 percent, the most since 2020, after the company said that it hired financial advisors to help improve its capital structure and its ability to even stay in business. The company dates back to 1946, when Earl Tupper, yes, there was indeed a Mr. Tupper, developed it in Lemonster, Massachusetts. Part of its claim to fame was the way it was sold in Tupperware parties thrown at homes by women looking for a new way to make a living after men came back from the war and took all their jobs back. But however things work out for Tupperware, there are times when change is actually for the better. Take the iPhone, something that some of us have grown all too attached to. So attached that we may have forgotten what came before. The Blackberry, which we don't miss all that much, no matter how iconic and cool we tried to make it at the time. We wear cool suits, we wear shiny shoes, we're the Blackberry boys.